DNA repair mechanism. When DNA makes copies of itself, there are chances of errors called mutations. And these mutations can be exhilarated when you expose yourself to chemicals, radiation, when you adopt unhealthy lifestyle, sometimes family history and genetics, they also play a role. But there are proteins that are tasked with repairing these mutations as soon as they happen. And this is happening in your cells right now. So what if there is a way by which we could enhance the cell's ability to repair DNA at a maximum efficiency? In fact, we could do that. We know which proteins are involved in DNA repair mechanism, and we know how to control them with the help of a gene editing technique called CRISPR, which you have heard about in the news. CRISPR is the most precise gene editing technique ever invented in human history, and it is proving to be very efficient. So we could use this technique to enhance the cell's ability to repair its DNA at all time, at all cost. But there is one problem. If we want to protect you against all types of cancers, then we have to make sure that your entire body is genetically engineered, that every cell is programmed to resist cancer, but we can't do it in adult humans because your body consists of 37 trillion cells, and that is impossible to engineer. In fact, there isn't any technology or gene delivery technique that can deliver genes to all this massive number of cells. But what if we could do it with human embryos instead? Why? Because human embryos have only eight cells in the third day after fertilization. In fact, we can engineer eight cells in human embryos. In fact, we are already doing it right now. Take a look at these remarkable results. Scientists genetically engineer human embryos. They manage to correct a mutation responsible for a serious heart condition in human embryos. They also manage to treat a condition responsible for a blood disorder. What's more amazing also, they managed to introduce HIV resistance to human embryos. So if we can do it with these diseases by engineering human embryos, then we can also do it with cancer. And it is called embryonic cancer therapy. What's beautiful about embryonic cancer therapy is that we only have to engineer eight cells in human embryos these embryos will grow to become adult humans with 37 trillion genetically engineered cells. And we only have to do it once, with one generation, because future generations will already, by default, get this genetic change as we pass on. So they will pass it on to the next generation.